Welcome to episode 19, my friends. Thank you for tuning in for one more week of 26 weeks. I'm not gonna lie, it was a tough week trying to train through being sick. I don't know if I'm on the men's. I'm still feeling pretty rough at the moment. I actually feel like I was getting better and now I'm getting a little bit worse. But we got through the week. We got most of our training in. So let's go check it out. Well, today is Monday morning. It is 4.43 in the morning. Start of week 19. It was really nice to be home for the weekend after being gone for almost two weeks. Back to my bed, the family, just you know, all of the conveniences of being home. Now, it's a full week of running. I'm headed out for an eight miler right now. I ran 26 miles over the weekend. I'm still feeling that a little bit, but feeling pretty good overall. So, let's go get the run in. That was eight miles. I'm not gonna lie, that was tough. I think my legs are pretty tired from yesterday's run. The 12 miles I did was really hilly, and I think my legs are just spent, so I'm glad it's over. I actually uh, was a little under 10 minute pace, I think, and then, or a little over 10 minute pace, so then the last few miles, I tried to kick it up into uh, 830s, 9s, and try and bring my overall pace down. Ended with 946s total for, for eight. Now, time to fuel up, clean up, and go back to the office for the first time in a couple weeks. off to work it'll be a hectic few days just trying to get caught up after being gone it is Tuesday morning do I look tired I am catching a cold I can feel it it's in my sinuses I my throat's a little sore feeling a little tired but I have a seven miler I need to get done I know that it's probably gonna rain the next two days after this so I really want to get this run in and it's the beginning of the cold, so if it gets much worse, I may end up having to take a day off then. So right now, I'm gonna get out. It is about 36 degrees, a little cold, so since I'm feeling sick, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and layer up and uh, just take it a nice, slow, easy seven miles. I'm off to work. I did feel better after getting my run in. The first few miles were pretty crappy, but then once I started running, it was slow, but I felt better. Now, I am loading up on my vitamins. I started last night with some vitamin C, some vitamin D, and some coenzymes, and some zinc, but load those up, get through the day. Hopefully, it won't last too long. It is Tuesday night. I am definitely sick. My nose is raw. Lots of tissues. I just took a big dose of NyQuil. While I did feel better after I got running this morning and I felt better 
probably for about an hour. I do feel pretty bad at the moment. So I am retiring early. It is 8.58. Just got the girls to bed. Now I'm going to just try to get some sleep. So maybe I can get a good seven hours. We'll see if I get up around 4.30, see how I feel. I feel the pressure to get a run in, but I also think I need to get better. So we'll see, we'll see how I feel in the morning. Uh, that'll determine everything. Well, it is Wednesday morning. It uh, It's rather warm outside. I just checked the weather and it said it's 51 degrees, which is uh, like 15 degrees warmer than it was yesterday. So I almost don't believe it, but 51, that is really, really warm. So I dressed a little lighter today, which is good because I do have a cold. I do uh, feel the congestion, but I think the NyQuil I took last night might still be uh, in effect as far as the decongestant part because I can breathe a little. But yesterday running made me feel better while running after about a mile or two. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out. I've got a six miler today. Nice, easy, probably just do two loops around the outside of the neighborhood. Then get back and take some more decongestant get some food and go to work. While it would be nice to spend the day resting in bed, it's not gonna happen. So, let's go see if it's really as warm outside as it says it is. Get this party started. I got the music playing loud. How you like my outfit? I have to say I'm kinda proud. I got my dancing shoes on and I'm feeling dangerous. Let's get this party started. Yeah, we gonna be adventurous. <laughs> Well, that was six miles, ran nine eighteens, I believe. Actually running, I felt pretty good today. So I just did two loops around the neighborhood. It's about three miles each way. The legs felt good. I had a massage last night, got the legs worked out. If I can just get rid of this cold. We got a box in the mail. I've been really excited about receiving. I've been wanting to try one of these for a really long time, especially since my calves have been giving me problems. And uh, I've been getting some massages. I was going to the doctor, but you guys have probably seen these, but I am super pumped to try the Tim Tam, basically pulsating massager, the yeah, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna open it up, we're gonna charge it, and we're gonna try it out later tonight. Voila! Look at that bad boy. Holy smokes. It says charge before using, but. Got the charger. That is sensitive. My calf is really sensitive. I can barely, barely use this thing on there. That feels good. Calf, mm, I'm gonna try the other calf to see if it's just this calf that's really sensitive. Let's see. The Rocks, Roots, and Ruts website is live. All of the shirts you guys were voting on, guess what? I decided to do all three designs because I had so many votes spread across the three. I picked three different colors. So if you want all three, of course you do. Go to rocksrootsandruts.com. You can order the shirts now. So pre-ordering is available until next Saturday, February 23rd. From there, I'm gonna close that down. I'm gonna then order the shirts the following week, get them printed, get them in the mail. Hopefully you'll have them by the first or second week of March. They are $20 each, total transparency. 
The shirts and the printing are costing me $10 essentially. I'm taking 50% of the profit, which would be $10 left, giving half of that to charity, so $5 to charity. I'm taking the other half to offset my costs and keep the channel going. So if you'd like to support me, I'd really appreciate it. For those of you who are a Patreon supporter, I've talked about having a discount code. There's a code up there. If you're not a Patreon supporter, go to patreon.com slash cjmedia. From there, once you subscribe, you will get access to a code that gives you $5 off per shirt. So if you only wanna subscribe for one month, you basically get $5 off, which covers your cost to subscribe, or $3 depending on the level you subscribe, or if you're buying multiple shirts, you might as well subscribe for a month because that's gonna offset the cost with the discount. So you're gonna get more off the shirts just by subscribing, even if you only subscribe for a month on Patreon. Go check it out right now. The girls are asleep and we are decorating for Valentine's morning. Wide awake is the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me Do you like it? Yes. It is Thursday morning and uh, cheers. I did not run this morning. I've been fighting my cold and it is again pouring the rain. So pouring rain, pouring the rain, pouring rain. So I did not run this morning. Uh, my plan is to go to the gym today and run on the treadmill for seven miles. I did six miles yesterday. I was supposed to do seven. I don't know what happened. I, no excuses, didn't read the plan. Just assumed it was six. Well, today is Friday morning. I took yesterday off. It was pouring the rain. I've been fighting the cold. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna take a day, rest, rest the legs. <clears throat> My calf had still been bothering me a little bit from that run last weekend. so. Took the day off, massaged them, soaked them, uh, iced them, and they actually feel way better this morning. I'm really surprised how much better my legs feel this morning. So hopefully we'll go out, run, and they'll feel really good. I've got seven miles this morning. There is no rain, thankfully. So let's go get it done. seven miles I'm just gonna walk it in let my body cool down we've got a birthday party we're going out tonight too we've got some babysitters tomorrow I've got to do an early run unfortunately starting in the dark because my daughter has a Girl Scout booth it's Friday night we're going out like adults with uh, a babysitter to a bar billiards it's our friend's birthday you know you're old when uh, you're going out at seven and you're drinking coffee. Luckily our babysitter can only stay till 10.30. Means I gotta be home and in bed because I do have a long run tomorrow. It is Saturday morning. I'm headed out for a 12 mile run. I need to do a 14 miler and a 12 miler this weekend, but I'm gonna flip them and do the shorter one this morning because my daughter has to be at a Girl Scout booth at 8.15 in the morning, which means unfortunately I have to run in the dark even on the weekend. Well, scratch the 12, I ended up doing 14. I had the time, figured let's not cut it short, let's get the long one done today, so tomorrow I can cruise on the 12. Ended up doing 923s. I'm in the garage and I literally think my wife is calling me. She doesn't even realize I'm back. 
so I gotta go. Hello. All right, last time I drove the Mustang, I let the battery die, so today, we're gonna take this bad boy and go, go get a new one, see if we can get it fired back up. It is Saturday night and our kids are with my mom and we are headed out again two nights in a row. Insane. I had a productive day. I cleaned the garage. I'm clearing out this section over here so that I can start to do some woodworking. Still needs a little work over there, but I'm getting it ready to pull my saws out. Tonight, we're going out to a pub or a bar or something. Then from there, we're driving down to my buddy Marwan's and we're spending the night down there because he lives down by the beach. Tomorrow morning, I need to get a 12 miler in. I'm gonna do that on the beach. That's my reason I packed my bags and now I'm gone Somewhere between the sun and the deep blue sea Tend and red, flat out on a beach bed But we are at the end of the week the end of the episode, that's it for 19. I didn't get the training in I wanted today. It's Sunday afternoon. I had hoped to get in a run 12 miles. It was supposed to be an easy day, but when I woke up this morning, we actually spent the night at a friend's house down by the beach uh, after we went out last night and I didn't grab my running shoes. I don't know what I was thinking. That's never happened. I always have my running shoes. I'll blame it on the cold medicine. So we got up, we took a seven mile walk. It was good because it was easy on the legs. Enjoyed the scenes, great sunrise. Now I'm gonna rest the rest of the day so I can start the week strong. I feel like this cold has gotten worse. Hopefully, hopefully, I'll feel better tomorrow. As always, I'm extremely grateful for all of you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, love it if you would. Hit that subscribe button and thank you for all the thumbs up and the comments. I really, really appreciate it. It's so much fun. We're closing in end of week 19. Holy cow, means we got six weeks left to get this thing done. So I will see you next week. I hope you have a great week of training.